Hey everyone, welcome to another video in Roblox Scripting for Beginners. Today I'm going to go over tables, and briefly, a table um, looks something like this. Fruits equals curly brackets, mango, banana, oops, banana, apple, oops. And basically what this is, is it holds, um, it's, a, it's a variable that holds multiple values um, and I never actually talked about this but a variable is um, uh, like we could say number equals five and then if we wanted to print out number uh, we could just do a number or if we wanted to print out five we just do print number and so that would print out five into the output bar down here the output bar, I never actually explained this, but basically, you know, it prints out, um, it puts text of, uh, like, what's going on in the game, and you can, like, you know, it also prints out, um, whenever, whatever you put in these, uh, this print thing here, and <clears throat> so, that is what a table is, it's, um, uh, well, that's how you structure a table, uh, it's you say um, you name it and then you say equals and then you put it um, you put whatever you want inside the table um, and in this case we put a couple of fruits if we wanted to say uh, if we wanted to print out banana into the output bar we say um, print fruits and then square bracket uh, let's say two because banana is in the second place in the table we got one and then two um, the place goes like this one two and then three and then so on and then let's have that closing parentheses and so let's run it and down here we have banana <clears throat> so um, if we want another thing if we wanted to print out every single thing in this um, which this is kind of the more useful part because um, you don't I, I don't know about anyone else but I don't normally uh, actually use tables like this um, sometimes I do um, but when I do I, it's normally uh, because I have to do this I have to do um, something with every single thing inside the table and so if we wanted to print out mango banana apple um, then we do four I V in pairs and you could use anything here. You could do A, B, or whatever. So in pairs of uh, fruits, um, do print B end. And now as we see here, that's going to print out mango, banana, apple. And the way this works is um, this is just the syntax or um, the rules, you know, for uh, basically grammar in code terms and <clears throat> um, a is the position so if we're also to print um, print a then it would do this one mango two banana three apple so um, basically the four a b or whatever you use in pairs normally you do IV because I stands for index and V stands for value and so the index of okay well basically what this does is it you know it goes through the table um, and it does something for each of the values so in this case it's gonna go because a for loop does that um, you know what a for loop does it runs uh, things um, multiple times until it's gone through each case that you've given it and so in this case it's gonna go through um, mango okay so uh, well the value in this case so the value which is V um, in this case it's gonna be mango and the index or the position that we're looking at at the moment is one so it's going to print oh well I guess we gotta change this too so I um, Oops. I V. So in this case, it's going to print I, which is the index, and that's one right now. 
and then it's going to print value and the value of that index in fruits is mango okay so then we did that now is there anything else we need to do um, it's going to it's called iterating um, it's going to iterate through the fruits again and it's going to change the index so this time the index is 2 and um, the um, the second position in fruits is banana um, so it's going to it's going to print uh, the index which is going to be 2 and then v or the value which is banana it is kind of um, confusing and it doesn't uh, it seems a little bit inefficient but you know um, you'll eventually this will become second nature to you it'll uh, basically all you need to know is that this is the line of code you need um, if you want to uh, run through everything inside a table and um, if you don't understand as always if you don't understand this uh, just just practice and you eventually will come to understand it and um, thank you for watching I'll see you all next time